I want to talk to you about a couple of things. Staying healthy. How often do you work out? How long do you work out? And what time do you kind of take your last meal of the day? Okay. Yeah. Um, workout now, being at home, about three times a week. When the gym was open, I'd work out about four to five times a week. Um, but it's been great to give my body a little bit of a rest. Mm -hmm. uh, the workouts now, I try not to go over 45 minutes. For 45 minutes to an hour is usually a sweet spot. Um, I've been incorporating a lot more stretching and breathing techniques too, doing yoga a lot more to take care of my body as I get older. Uh, and that stuff has helped out tremendously. It's even good right now, especially right now with anxiety because there's just so much uncertainty about what's going on um, that it's just good to have something, you know, it's good to have that. Um, um, and the other question was what, how many times? Your last we? meal a day. Oh, my last meal a day. You know, that's going to that's gonna largely vary from person to person. My last meal is usually around um, 9 o'clock, but – um, last night, it, it, last night was even later because I went for a really late bike ride and got back super late. So I ate my last meal around ten. Um, now here's the thing, um, you know, I like to eat several times throughout the day. So my meals probably may not look like everyone else's meal, meaning my, my meals are much smaller. Mm -hmm. And as I get, and as the day progresses, this is just me. I, I tend to taper off in the carbs. So I'm going to load up in a lot of energy towards the beginning of the day, eating the oatmeals and the rice and things like that um, to give myself energy for the day. So that way, in the event that I wanted to do like a nighttime bike ride, I'd have that energy. But by and large, when I'm going to wind down for the evening, I'm going to have something that's a lot lighter on, on carbs. So a lot more like vegetables, skillet grilled veggies, um, I like to eat breakfast for dinner oftentimes. So my, so my go-to right now has been some scrambled eggs with some, um, with some vegetables like asparagus or some spinach, maybe a little bit of cheese and that's it. Um, that's been my go-to and it just, it's just, uh, because I've always thought of it like I'm not really utilizing a whole lot of energy when I sleep. And if you can think of your body in that, in that sense, that like, if you think of your body like I'm going to consume energy because I need the energy. So I've always thought of it like, well, I'm going to sleep. I'm really not going to use any of that. Mm -hmm. so why am I going to load up on this big, heavy meal? Um, and oftentimes we have these heavy meals throughout the day because we're starving ourselves throughout the day. If you eat and you nourish yourself throughout, even three meals are fine. Um, you don't have to have these really big decadent meals in the evening so long as you're actually nourishing yourself and getting food in during the day. But I want to say this emphatically, people are listening. That varies from person to person. There are people who can eat a huge meal at nighttime and that's the one ounce of weight gain. For me, if I even think about eating a big meal, I already gain weight. Like that's just the way I am. I gain weight super fast. So that's why I have, um, gotten the algorithm for what works for Kevin's body. And you better find out the same thing that works for you. Kevin, I, sh I should have asked you this earlier in the interview. At your highest, what did you weigh? Ooh, I stopped weighing myself when I got around 250. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. So I don't really know how, how heavy I got. Mm -hmm. I just stopped. And what was really interesting about, about my, um, build is that I have like thin limbs, but I have a really big torso. So when I was wearing professional clothes, you know, you really couldn't tell until so you take off my shirt and you're like, whoa, that's where all the weight is. <laughs> 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 so I could hide it very well and no one really knew it. And then, but looking back at old photos, you can definitely tell in the face when you're like, you know, rolling a little bit. So when you found what works for you, your work, your weight has consistently stayed off over the years? Yeah, you know, and I've deliberately tried to gain weight so I could, when I got into like weightlifting, because I realized that was another thing too. Once I lost the weight, I was so scared about gaining it. And then I found out, oh, there are people that actually gain weight. And this was, um, I was working out at this gym and there was a guy who was always big. He was always big and he big was in terms of muscular or big just out of shape oh, 
big. He looked out of shape. He just looked really big. I didn't wasn't. I know he could lift a whole bunch of heavy weights, but he'd always be the guy giving me advice about stuff. And I'm like, I look, I look better than you, home. <laughs> I to the gym for like a month or two to go to some other gym. I like to bounce around. I went back in about two months, and I did like a double take. He looked huge. I mean, he had huge arms, huge chest, abs popping, everything. I was like, what did you do? He's like, oh, I have a competition coming up. And I said, oh, I didn't know that you were like, oh, so you gain weight? He's like, yeah, that's what you do to gain muscle. So that was the first time I even heard about that. I was like, I can gain weight and then um, lose it. So, but as someone who had always been overweight or struggled with weight, I was just terrified mm -hmm. of putting weight. So over the years, I've learned how to, all right, let me gain this weight for this reason, train hard, and then lose the weight because I'm trying to get to a certain physique. So, yeah, consistently, yes, but I, but I know it hasn't, it hasn't been the exact same because of that. Like at my lowest, it was down to about, God, I think in the 160s. Oh, congratulations, Kev. Oh, thanks. And that was just for Texas boy. I mean, that's like, that's, that's, too, that's too small. So, <laughs> you know, I, I stay with the, in the 190s these days. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.